Buzz and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a challenge that I saw a graveyard girl do and I'm like, that is pretty awesome. It's called the Strip Down Challenge. Basically, you just uh, go on and talk about whatever you want to like in your daily life and uh, what you know and you can't edit the video so whatever goes into the video has to stay in the video so if you like mess up or something oh well you have to post it anyways and you only have a 10 minute time frame to talk about whatever you want um, it's like a it's like a good little vlog almost you know and it saves you some work so you don't have to edit so that's kind of gonna be really exciting for me I just hope that this whole thing goes like according to plan. Um, I'm just gonna let you know about like what happened with my day. I went out with my kids, I went and shipped the uh, winner's giveaway prize out this morning, and I also went ahead and I, <sighs> look at me, I'm already having brain farts, isn't that bad? And I, I can't do nothing, I have, to, I have to leave this video up like this, I can't edit it. God, it's life. So I, <laughs> went over and I shipped the giveaway out this morning. So um, I did that and then I went over to Walmart. No, correction, I went over to McDonald's and I grabbed some lunch with my kids and then I went to Walmart finally and I grabbed some groceries. And as I'm walking through the store and everything like that, you know, there's like tons of people there. Like, I mean, there's always people there. But I mean, like, today was just like really like, um, if you've been on my channel for a while, you know I have like bad social anxiety. So like going out into like places and stuff with other people make me really nervous. <laughs> I don't know why it just does. Um, unless I like feel like really connect, like you know, calm and myself with you. You know, I I'm not. It's not that bad. Okay, not that bad. So, anyways. Um, there was just a ton of people there, and we were walking up and down the aisles, and I didn't, and because of the anxiety, I started not to feel good, so I freaked out. Um, I got what I need, like, half of what I needed, and they didn't even have, like, cases of water, because it's all we drink here. We drink either, um, like, the juice mixes, or the crystal light packets, or, you know, water enhancers, and we have, like, we usually get three to four cases of water, and the water that we drink is Nestle water, and we, they didn't have any of it. So I was like, okay, whatever. I just started feeling like shaky hands and sweaty palms, and I just knew my anxiety was just starting to kick in, and I felt like I was gonna pass out. So I went ahead and I exited the store. I mean, I did pay for what I got. You know, I wasn't gonna just put it all back, because then I'd had to go out there, you know, without my kids, like tomorrow, and do it. Like, is normally what happens is I normally, if I get like that, I go home and I go ahead and I just, you know, put my, you know, I, I just put the stuff that I did get away and then I just lay down for a little bit and then by tomorrow I normally feel better. I don't know why I have such like panic attacks and like anxiety when going out into places. Like, I, I don't get it. It's just one of those things that I can't, I don't seem like, a, ugh, no, that has to go in there in this video my rambling mouth. Um, <laughs> I just don't know why I have such bad anxiety around other people. I just, I don't. I don't know where it came from. Um, this started about like 2014. Honestly, um, I've gotten a lot better with my anxiety, I will say, but it's not as good as it should be. It's better controlled, um, but I, d I just don't know why it just all of a sudden happened. I, d I don't. Uh, but some days I have good days and I can go out and I can do whatever I want and it, that's the great thing about it is you know I have my good days and I have my bad days it's just when that attack hits you doesn't matter what I'm doing I have to stop what I'm doing to recuperate and to feel better so that's just a little bit my like social anxiety I didn't know if you want to hear about it but I told you about it so we were walking through the aisles also at Walmart um, and my son found these two little Ghostbuster keychain things and they're really cute. I wish I would have brought them in the bathroom with me, but I just really don't want to waste my time because I can't like go get them and then come back because then you'll be missing like a piece of me for like maybe a minute or two, uh, you know. So um, I'll show you those in like the uh, haul video I have coming up for you guys. Um, but he found like you know he found these two little Ghostbuster keychains and they were like the Stay Puff Marshmallow guy. They sing the Ghostbuster theme, and uh, he recently at Toys R Us. 
uh, found a Ghostbuster themed backpack and lunchbox came free with it when you purchased the backpack, obviously. And so I thought, okay, we could just put the keychain on his backpack. No big deal. You know, that, you know, fun, right? Lots of fun. Uh, so that was like the venture at Walmart. I got the rest of my kids' school supplies. Let's see. I mean, I really shouldn't have anything to run out to talk. You know, I, I really shouldn't have anything that I, I, I can't talk today. Oh my God, this is so hard. Because like, I know this video is going to sound so crazy and it's going to seem like I have like multiple personality or something. It's just, I don't know, because like, it just sounds so crazy already. And I can't edit this. And that's the sad thing about this challenge because, I mean, it's good. I get a break from editing and working a little bit, but I don't know. I don't know. So we got home after my little panic attack. We came home and I emptied the car and got all the groceries out. And then I put the groceries away. I checked some emails. I went onto my YouTube account. I checked that. I went to Facebook for a minute, and then I grabbed a drink of water. Hmm. Oh my god, look at we got seven, eight, nine, ten. We got four more minutes left. So, what to say in four more minutes? Oh, so, um, I got up this morning at like six o'clock in the morning. My fiance's alarm goes off at 5.30 every morning, and it's just continuously, like, one alarm after the other, like, every five minutes. Seriously. I mean, and he doesn't get up. He sets it at 5.30, so that wakes me up automatically. And then it keeps going and going and going. And then by 6.30, 6.45 is when he's like, I'm going to get up for work. And it's like, I'm already awake now for a little over an hour due to this alarm. So I got up this morning and I made him his lunch and got him ready for work. Like I put out his clothes and I do his lunch and I... Make him his breakfast and everything else, so that's what I do. Um, I stay home with the kids all day, so I feel like I am the one that should clean and cook for him and, uh, you know, take care of the household duties and chores and shopping and, you know, all the fun stuff. So, he's a great guy. Love him. Our anniversary is coming up and we're going to be together for now seven years. Seven years, can you believe that? We've had a lot of ups and downs on the road, dudes, but you know what? Shit happens. That's all I can say about it. I didn't mean to cuss on here. Oops. I know there's like some younger people that watch me. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say that. Oops. Um, yeah, but I was going somewhere with the story. Oh, so after I got him ready and everything like that this morning and I got him out to the door to work, um, I decided to go ahead and do my makeup today. So I look so pretty, don't I? Um, I used my, which I have right in front of me so I can show you real quick. I used my uh, Gwen Stefani Urban Decay palette. And I absolutely love this palette. Like, it's really, really pretty. See? Look at how pretty it is. Yeah, but look at how pretty it is. Look at the colors. Oh, yes. Beautifulness. So... There's that. And I think I started my makeup, because I tried to go back to sleep after he left about 7 o'clock. I tried to go back to sleep about 7, because the kids were still asleep. I'm like, oh, this would be a good time to catch up on some rest, right? Yeah, no. <laughs> no, I couldn't go back to sleep, even if I wanted to. It just wasn't happening for me. So I got up about, like, 9 o'clock. I laid in bed for a while. And I got up about 9, and I came in here, and I did my makeup. And I didn't even get done with my makeup till about... 10:30. It takes me over an hour, sometimes two hours, to do my makeup because like there's so many steps with it between the primer and then you gotta let the primer dry because I use the Smashbox Photo Water of uh, Photo Primer Water. Whatever you want to say, I use that so I let it dry on my face and stuff like that. So I mean, there's just a lot of steps when I do my makeup and. Uh, I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. I absolutely love it. And then I'm also using the Too Faced Cocoa Powder foundation as well. So you get some goodness here. See? Oh, and there's a little sponge. I think I use, yeah, I used the sponge like once. And then I, it's like, no, I did not like that. It wiped more makeup off than anything. That's why I just stick to my brushes now. 
So it is now hitting the 10 minute mark. So if you like this video, go ahead and give it two thumbs up. Up and I will see you tomorrow, guys. Okay? Bye!